you will never become a professional tennis player. That's right. You will never become a professional tennis player because you only concern yourself with on-court performance. You're probably a very good tennis player. You can probably hit a very big serve. Your forehands are probably as good as Alcaraz's. But I promise you, you will never become a professional tennis player. When looking at and comparing professional tennis players, technically, there's very little that separates the best from the rest. At the highest level, everyone plays immaculate tennis. They have serves that would break speeding laws at major highways. They have immaculate forehands and backhands. They have really good volleys. When looking at top players, especially the top 10, they're all creatures of habit. They train the same. They are very meticulous with their diet. They are very meticulous with their sleeping patterns. They spend countless of hours fine-tuning their game. But aside from that, they also spend countless hours fine-tuning their physique. Don't forget, at the end of the day, you have a machine. A machine that is your body. And just like a Formula One car that's getting ready for a race, every small detail will make major difference when it comes to performance time. One major area that is usually neglected, especially at the junior level, is a proper warm-up. A proper warm-up, just like a Formula One race car, gets you ready for a race. Juniors tend to just go on the court for, for a few minutes, go around the court jogging for a few times, do some static stretching, play two minutes of mini tennis, and they start serving right away and play out the match. The difference between top players and those that never make it is every detail pertaining to their craft matters. For some, the warm-up is almost as detailed as a full workout, and most of the time, it's very rigorous and engaging. Spend time fine-tuning your vehicle. Change the oil, check the tire pressure, top up the fluids. Consider yourself a very expensive sports car. I don't think you would put the, the key in the ignition in your sports car and just start driving it without allowing it time for it to warm up and let the temperature rise up a little bit. Show respect to your body the way you would show respect to your Formula One. Don't forget, your body is a much more valuable asset than a Ferrari. Show it the respect it deserves and be more meticulous with your warm-up. I'd love to know what you think about this. Please comment your concerns, what you think about this, and let's have a chat. I'll see you guys at work.